<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Uh, this will be my first diary uh, appearing on both Facebook and YouTube. Um, first of all, um, you know, basically it's supposed to be a diary, but it's me blowing off steam a lot of the time. Uh, stupid stuff. Uh, I've got a list uh, over here to my left of things that I write down that usually bug me or some things that I actually uh, like or enjoy. Um, I better get the date out of the way real quick. Uh, today is April 15th, 2013. Woohoo. Uh, I hate Mondays. Uh, let's see. Um, first of all, um, when I'm on my rants, I will cuss. My language will fly way off. I, uh, drop, uh, the F word a lot. Um, if you don't like this, what I would recommend is move along. You know, I mean, you don't have to watch it. No, you know, nobody's like holding a gun to your head saying, watch the diary. Uh, um, if you, you know, if you watch it and you decide to bitch on my page, I will block you. I'm not in the mood. I, especially in the mornings. I'm never in a good mood in the mornings. Um, from the time I wake up and I stumble through the house until I've had either my um, first soda or um, my first cup of tea. I'm not in a good mood. Um, I had decided to um, eat a can of ravioli this morning and apparently my cat decided to hide the can opener. Um, apparently reminding me that I'm on a diet. Um, which is another reason why I'm grouchy first thing in the morning. Uh, so, um, let's get started. Uh, first of all, stupid people. In all honesty, there needs to be a similar terrorist alert thing, you know, for stupid people. You know, something that tells us when they're out in high population. You know, um, which would mean, you know, every time that alert went off, it would mean all of Congress was out on the street. Because apparently they are stupid and don't know how to do the damn job. Um, they are literally every day pissing me off. Um, everybody gets a cut in their salary or services get cut. These money hungry fuckheads just apparently don't know how to cut their own wallet. Hell, in all honesty, in order to o open up someone who works in government to you know to open up their wallet. You probably have to have the jaws of life. Because I think it would bend a pry bar. Um, give me a quick drink here. Oh, lemonade. Whew. A little bit on the bitter side. Um, let's see. On to the next thing. Uh, <coughs> Pardon me. Cough drop. Um, domestic violence is really getting out of hand here lately, people. And the sad part is, is I've seen people, you know, officers making it out like it's a joke. And to me, it's not. You know, uh, I grew up watching this and I'm still seeing it and I don't much care for it. Um, I've heard of men beating women and women, you know, literally beating the hell out of men. Uh, so, you know, it just doesn't set well with me. Um, here recently, we watched on the news, me and my wife, about a murder-suicide, in which, you know, it was well known that the cops had been there many times, and yet the cops kind of made it out like it was a joke. Uh, it's not. I mean, you know, kids suffer because of this, family members suffer because of this, and it's just bullshit needs to stop. Um, it just absolutely boggles the mind, you know, that if you love somebody and you go to beating them, it just doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Um, let's see here. What else is on the list? I don't need lots. Oh, uh, news story about some, somebody going out and spray painting cars. Uh, that right there should have sent the stupid, uh, stupid people alert off. 
I mean, you know, we got so many problems in the world, and yet we got teenagers who seem to think that the most important thing to do is spray paint vehicles. Man, if you're that bored, I really don't see you having a job later on in life. Get ready to move in mom and dad's basement. Or be homeless, whichever comes first. Uh, you know, just just really annoying. Um, I can't really even find anything funny about it. I mean, you cost people money to have to repaint their vehicle. Yeah, just flat, flat and dull. I mean, grow the fuck up. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta get a few things about me out of the way. I mean, it ain't like it's on my Facebook profile or anything, you know. But apparently, to the mental health, you know, they can't really read my profile, so I've got to speak it. And, uh, a lot of this is because I don't really go to the mental health. Um, I have a UV light allergy. I can't be out in the sun. I know a lot of y'all can see the sunlight coming through the top of the curtain. Please note that's on the ceiling, not on me. Um, I don't have to worry about that. And I'm actually going to be improving that top part because it will eventually get worse. Um, the UV light allergy basically says can't be in the sunlight. Um, it's also on certain wavelengths. Uh, LED lights hurt. I mean, hurt like hell, man. Um, so, with that being said, you know, eventually I'm going to have to switch over to being in a rubber suit. It's not something I'm looking forward to today, because to me that's a prison within a prison. Um, you know, I've heard a lot of people like latex. Um, for me, I like to feel the touch of my wife's skin on my on my skin, you know. And it's going to be very hard to do, because the only time I'm going to get to do it is when I get to lay down with her at night in total darkness. You know, and it's going to be difficult for her to actually see me. Uh, which makes me very sad. Um, you know, uh, I'm you know I will learn to deal with. It. I mean, I've learned to deal with everything else. Um, in case you're wondering, you know, why there's a brighter, I think it's on this side here, a brighter side, a uh, brighter light on my face. I've got lights on, and they're under 15 watts. I can actually be in that. I'm not worried. Mm. Oh, bitter as hell. Note to self, add sugar to your lemonade. <sighs> uh, but, um, let's see here. Covering a little bit about me. I'm a huge gamer. Um, you know, and it's really all you got to do. Uh, playing video games is relaxing. Uh, which brings me to my next big rant. You know, I have read report after report, uh, and seen bullshit after bullshit, especially Fox News. Them son of bitches are pissing me off on a regular basis. Now, if you want to get pissed off, turn it on there. If you want to believe bullshit, turn it on there. But apparently they're, they're seemingly linking video games with violence, and yet they have no proof. And yet, um, it, they just, it's just got to be. In truth, all the reports that I've read, and I've read official reports from government, uh, independent studies, uh, if you like links, contact me, I'll give them to you, but, um, yeah, um, so it's on this side, ah, oh, fuck, can't see it, ain't gonna worry about it, I get off subject a lot, God, I almost think I got AD at, ADD at times, um, but all the studies I've read tell me that there is no link between violence and video games. To me, it just feels like the government and certain assholes at Fox and probably CNBC, because I know they're loaded with bullshit. Them dumb motherfuckers don't even know how to do proper journalism. It used to be, you check your facts, recheck your facts, and recheck your facts before you put it on the news. Now it's, you know, make up something and put it on the news because it's good television. It's good bullshit. Anymore, the only truth in news I find is John Stewart and Stephen Colbert. And they're on Comedy Central of all places. Highly recommend the shows. Not only do they give you good news, they also, you know, clean through the bullshit for you. And we'll give you actual factual documents. 
hey, can't ask for anything better. Proof that John Stewart and Stephen Colbert are great. Those two guys are the highest paid newscasters on television, and they're considered comedians. Uh, but nonetheless, the whole thing with video games, uh, to me, all I can think of is the government wants to cut jobs, maybe. Uh, video games for me have helped me blow off steam, and believe you me, there's nothing worse than a hillbilly pissed. Um, especially one who can't get outside, man. I, I get downright vicious. Um, my wife has seen, after three days with my 360 down, I am not a happy camper, and I'm not easy to get along with. Um, because you don't have a whole lot to do. I mean, Facebook's got a few good games, but I'm a big console player. Uh, so let's, um, let's see, recover video games. Why is that on the damn list? Oh, let me look. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I'm seeing this on a regular basis. People who don't wear helmets and get themselves hurt. You know, I've got nothing against you not wearing a helmet. It's just, I find the news to be a little bit gross when I hear, you know, guy's been put into a hospital because he didn't wear a helmet. You should feel sorry for him. No, he was stupid. That's his fault. Two guys crashed last night. One wearing a helmet. He's okay. The other guy, critical condition because he didn't wear a helmet. Um, to those who think, you know, being a badass means not wearing a helmet, Remember, your head hits the pavement, it does bounce and then splatters. With a helmet, it will bounce and possibly save your life. You know, I don't ride motorcycles, but I'm pretty sure if I did, a helmet would be one of the number ones on my list. Um, let's see here, anything else on that list do I need to cover? Oh, yeah, the Utah uh, motocross track. Uh, I'm really pissed off about that. I mean, this track was gaining money. This guy leased it from the state. Now the state's taking it back. And they won't even let the guy have his dirt that he put in there. He put all this work into a five-year deal. Now the state wants it. Now we're, you know, we'll keep everything the way it is and charge for it. In all honesty, I would call Utah government almost communist you know um, they rip people off uh, they've been trying to pull screw jobs where I'm at of course I think every state has their you know little communist quirks um, I come from Virginia in which our governor is trying to outlaw blowjobs all the problems in Virginia and his focus is on fucking blowjobs I mean, are you that damn stupid or that damn blind? I mean, healthcare needs reform, but he's focused on blowjobs. Need jobs. But apparently he's more against blowjobs. Uh, the only sex that should be allowed, uh, I think, is missionary. Better things to do with your damn time than focus on sex. Leave people alone in their damn bedrooms. I don't give a fuck what the person next door does in their bedroom, as long as they're not doing it at 5 a.m. and keeping me awake. You know, a little bit of privacy, you know. If you're wanting to get really loud, go get a motel room. <sighs> you know, be respectful that I do have to sleep. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, I'm seeing all these lawmakers step up and focus on stupid laws that have nothing to do with them. And that pisses me off. I mean... Homeless people, they're not worried about. They're worried about what's in your, what's going on in your bedroom. Kids starving, not worried about that. You've got to focus on what's going on in the fucking bedroom. Some place that they have no nose, I'm, you know, no place putting their nose in, and yet they are. I mean, if your sex life is that fucking goal that you've got to make everybody feel miserable, go get a prostitute. Yeah, go find a dominatrix. Go do something creative. Then come back to Congress and say, hey, we need to focus on real issues. My home state, you know, something, a place that I actually was kind of proud of, now I'm not. Because the governor there is a fucking idiot. When I'm seeing this across the board, I mean, I, I don't know if they, they like go to a session of Congress, they touch each other and they infect each other with stupid. 
but it's downright annoying. We got budget cuts across the board because of the sequester, and yet we got idiots that are like, we got to focus on what's going on in people's bedrooms, what's going on in people's lives. Uh, a little freedom would be nice, and a little bit of them doing their fucking job would be better. Uh, there, there are so many bigger issues at heart, you know, and I can't figure out why we're even looking at this little bullshit. Um, here in Utah, they're focused, they're so focused on gun control. And don't get me wrong, what happened at Sandy was a tragedy. But move the fuck on. It happened. I get that. But right now, you know, we need to start focusing on issues that are affecting all of us. You know, instead we got issues that are dividing the fucking country. When we need to be bringing everybody together. You know, the whole thing of people, you know, losing their jobs. You know, let's find ways to create jobs rather than cut them. Um, let's find ways to feed people. I mean, it pisses me off that in this country we produce so much food and yet we still have people going hungry. And I can't figure that one out. Um, and I understand there are people overseas that need to eat. But they also need to say, hey, we need to get up and do something for our sucking selves. You know, because, I mean, the only way a country truly grows is to face adversity and push back. Rather than saying, here, here's the food, don't worry about it. Our people are starving too. You know, I'm not heartless by no measure. But when I look around and see that, you know, we're not focusing on the real issues. And yet, we're giving away stuff to other countries while other people here go hungry. It bugs the fuck out of me. You know, you, you know if you find my views, uh, I guess, words rigid... I don't care. I really do not care. Uh, I've gotten used to people forming opinions about me long ago. I mean, hell with this UV light allergy, I had people throwing rocks through my window calling me a vampire. You know, this from my home state of pretty much stupid people now. And if you're from Virginia and you got out, good for you. If you're from Virginia and you're pissed off about what I say, I don't care. Uh, well, let's see here. Next issue on the list, oh, something I actually uh, like, Gabriel Iglesias, uh, Fluffy, that dude is funny, beyond a shadow of a doubt, one of the best comedians I've ever watched, uh, he rates up there with um, Richard Pryor, uh, George Carlin, uh, Robin Williams, um, you know, these are great guys, and, um, their views were very open-minded, and, you know, to me, you know, having that kind of open-mindedness, using his comedy to look at the world differently, it does bring people together. Um, even Jeff Dunham, um, something you may not have known, Jeff Dunham, who has a puppet called Ahmed, uh, a dead suicide bomber, is number one, is, is a number one comedian in the Middle East. Wow, those guys have a sense of humor. And, you know, to me, to get people over there to laugh, and they look so angry all the time, um, you know, especially with them being stereotyped a lot, <coughs> excuse me, is shocking. Because over here, comedian says the wrong thing. Oh, my God. Uh, hell, uh, what was it? Donald Trump, not here too long ago, wanted to sue one guy for making a joke about him. Uh, welcome, uh, comrade uh, Donald Trump. You big fucking moron. I mean, learn to laugh at yourself. God knows I have heard the vampire jokes out the wazoo. And I welcome them. You know, I've heard more hillbilly jokes than you can shake a stick at. Um, I've heard more hillbilly stereotypes than you'll ever dream of. Uh, you know, my accent has changed a little bit. I don't sound as south as I used to. But, bottom line, you know, still very much a hillbilly. And very proud of it. But I will make fun of it to no end as well. Uh, let's see here. You know, this video usually has to last about 30 minutes. And I've got about 10 minutes of airtime. 
yeah, half hour video. If you made it this far, you got more endurance than I do. I wouldn't have stopped and listened to me this long. Uh, kind of think if there's anything else that I need to cover, you know, you'd think they'd be happy with like 20 minutes. I'm referring to the mental health, and there never are, you know. So, um, I'm on a diet. Yeah, I've covered that. I think that's all that's really pissing me off at the moment. You know, uh, other than the typical, you know, stuff that I see is stupid. I've got to watch the news tonight and find more stuff. Um, I guess I'll close this out. I mean, if they don't like it, they can kiss my ass. Um, um, close it down on the note that um, I have a lovely wife. Um, and I think one of the reasons that I am alive at 36 right now is because of her. Um, she gives me all the strength I ever needed, and then some. Uh, she does more for me than anyone. Um, I think, you know, in all honesty, I would have been dead long ago if not meeting her, if not for meeting her. Because this, you know, this UV light allergy thing makes you depressed. It hits you hard and doesn't let go. Um, you know, and for her to step up and, you know, on the bad nights when I'm in tears, uh, because it hurts, you know, I've got a lot, you know, I've been hit by the sun sometimes and I get sores and they are painful and yet she'll hold me and let me cry. She has to land some and she knows it's going to hurt. She, you know, she knows sticking a needle into my skin to drain these infection, infected places is going to cause me a lot of pain and yet she stays strong and she does all this you know I am truly blessed to have her and um, she doesn't like to be on camera which I don't blame her uh, I can find better things to do with 22 minutes of my time or, and so on um, but um, every day I get up and I tell her I love her even while she's asleep because I know without her, my life would have been over long ago. So, I'm going to close this uh, simply by saying, if I catch something else on the news, I'll post another uh, diary entry. I know I only have to do one a day. Sometimes I'll do two, even three. You know, if you get annoyed, just ignore them, move on. But um, I'm going to get off here. Everybody have a safe day. Uh, have fun doing whatever you do. I'm probably going to go watch a movie or do some Facebook. Uh, later, everyone. Let's see here. Oh, yeah.